Hi everyone, welcome to GK Today's Current Affairs Daily Notes. Today we are going to discuss the head-on generation technology for railways. I'm Ritvisha from GK Today and let us begin. So railway ministry is upgrading all existing Linke Hoffman Bush coaches with the head-on generation technology. This would cause the trains to become more cost efficient and less polluting. Which is why today we are going to discuss what is head-on generation technology, how is it different from the present technology and what are the benefits of this new technology over the old one. What is head-on generation technology? So the system of head-on generation technology has the system of the trains running hotel load that is the energy needed to serve air conditioning, lights, fans and pantry etc which the uh, consumers passengers use by drawing electricity from the overhead electric lines which the railways also use to run. Now the power supply from the overhead cable in 750 volts is at single phase and a transformer with a winding of 945 kilovolt ampere converts it to a 750 volts 50 hertz output at three phase. This energy is then provided to the compartments. How is it different from the present technology? So under the current end-on generation system, the train's hotel is provided with electricity from two large diesel generator sets which supply three phase power at 750 volts 50 hertz to the entire length of the train. Each coach then picks up the power supply through a 60 kVA transformer bringing down the voltage to 110 volts at which level the equipment in the compartment is run. The generator cars are attached to either end of the train giving the system the name of end on generation. What are the benefits of this new technology over the old ones? Now since the head on generator fitted trains do not require power from diesel generators, they only have one emergency generator car attached instead of two regular generators. Now this extra space would now be used for second luggage, for guards, for the young compartments which means more passengers can be accommodated. Also cost savings would be significant because once all the trains get new systems, almost 1390 crore rupees would be saved every year. The system is free of air and noise pollution and it would bring down yearly carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxide emissions which are currently at 1724.6 tons per annum and 7.48 tons per annum respectively to zero. The reduction in emissions could also help the railways accrue carbon credits and trade them on the international market. With the noise emitting generator sets gone, noise pollution would also drop. All of this would lead to better accommodation and a more pleasant journey. That's all for this video. To read more about it, simply follow the link in the description below. If you like this video, do like and share and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.